Hello, my name is Dr. Susan Jewell. And on behalf of Expert Village today, I'm going to talk to you about ways to treat fevers and how to reduce the, the symptom of fevers. Now, in this clip, we can talk about um, when you have a fever, of course, you know, you are going through bouts of, a high, of uh, perspiring and sweating. So to cool down the body's uh, temperature, there are many ways. One is to, of course, give a, a sponge bath. And um, what I would demonstrate here is just ways to do, uh, you know, just to, to sponge down and where you could put the, the sponge bath. Now, the thing is, you just get a bowl of water, and it's good if it, to get it cold, icy cold water, because, of course, the, the person that's undergoing the fever is at a, the body's very, at a very high temperature already, abnormally high, so you want to reduce that. So ice water, and then what you do is you can... If, if you can, you can add some, um, you know, ar aromatherapy oil into the water because that will also help to relax the person when they go through uh, bouts of temperature and fever at the time. So just get a cloth and a nice icy cold water and you can throw in some um, chunks of ice as well to keep it cold and just soak the, the, the towel in there, give it a nice, um, uh, uh, you know, rinse out so it's nice and icy cold. And then you can just pat this on the person. So it's good to, um, you know, fold it up and put it into some, some, uh, uh, you know, uh, hand size. And then you just place it, first of all, the most good place is, of course, the forehead. And other areas, of course, that would uh, you could use to sponge down is the neck area. because um, and, and placing it on the major arteries that supplies the... The, um, the head area, and that is uh, the carotid and the jugular, which uh, is on both sides of the neck. So you can press and you can wipe down, you know, that area to, of the, the body, and that will help to reduce the temperature uh, significantly. And also, uh, you know, the armpits and all over the body. Now, the important thing is that when you are wiping and sponging down the person at that particular area, you should make sure you cover up the other exposed area. So don't expose a large area of the body to the to the atmosphere. So always cover up and only sponge down that particular area. Once you finish sponging down, then you cover that area again and you move to another, expose another region. So that's important because the person, if they have very high fever, especially if they've got flu, viral flu, they've got the shake and bake. So you need to be aware of that. So this is one of the ways that you can actually help to reduce the, temporarily anyway, to alleviate uh, some of the, the symptoms of fevers.